What's up guys, it's Dwayne back again for another video, back in for the reaction and today's a great, wonderful, beautiful day and do you know why? I'll tell you why, because it's another Finland day, <laughs> life in Finland. That intro never gets uh, old. Life in Finland, nine things that shocked me living in Finland. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Hey, ja tervetuloa kaikki. Just kidding. Uh, my name is Kat Rivers <laughs> and welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you're coming here, don't be shy and go ahead and click the subscribe button. I make videos about my life in Finland and cultural differences with America. Cultural differences. In this video today, I'm actually going to be sharing 10 things, good, bad, weird, that shocked me in the time that I've been living here. Okay, let's get to it. So the first thing that shocked me, and I'm gonna put this in a very good category, but also weird category, it's showers. So showers here in Finland, amazingly. Um, showers? You just have a shower head and then there's like no walls to separate the shower from the- Huh? You have a shower head and there's no walls? The rest of the bathroom. Oh, it's like an open shower. So it's like open. So the entire floor is tiled and probably slanted in a way that it filters out. That's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. I've been in, have I been in, I've, well, I used to work in a hospital and they used to have them a lot. They're kind of called wet rooms. I think you call them wet rooms because the whole room gets wet. <laughs> I'd rather that than having just a set, like, a cordoned off shower where if the water spills over, you're like, oh no, I've wet the whole bathroom and the bathroom's not waterproof. This is a lot more of a practical way of having a shower. I get it. See, this is what I love about Finland. This is what I love about you guys. You're practical. You are, you're, you're always thinking, how can I make this task shorter? How do I make my life easier? How do I get from A to B quicker, more efficient, and without less, with less stress? You go, Finland. <laughs> so once you actually go into the bathroom, uh, you might have your toilet, your washing machine, you know, that space where you walk around in the bathroom, well, that is all connected to the shower. So if you're showering, water Practical. will just go everywhere. So the second thing that was pretty- But then the whole, yeah, anyways. Pretty shocking she and surprising is the fact that I have not needed to have a car here. So I'm very used in America to using a car every day to do everything. Go to work, go to the supermarket, run any errands, whatever, like, just the thought of having to take a bicycle anywhere. I don't think that's even possible where I'm. See, this is why I will love Finland as well because I, don't, I can't drive. I've never needed to drive in England. Like I always live in the city where I live quite close to where I work. So living in Finland, um, sounds good to me. It sounds like everything's quite close together and you have a really good, she said biking. So bicycle infrastructure. I love riding a bicycle. Perfect. I'm, I'm just I'm selling from, myself. Panama, like, we don't have <laughs> bike Finland. lanes, so, you know. Okay, the third thing that was kind of shocking and surprising at the same time is like, people here literally don't give a shit what you wear. Like, if you're a doctor <laughs> or a nurse or a teacher or, you know, whatever, it really doesn't matter what industry you're in unless you're a politician. Like, I have seen people in every type of like profession with super colorful hair, piercings, even tattoos on their face, necks, whatever, and nobody gives a shit. And that is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. Is that true? So you could be a doctor and have piercings, bright pink hair, tattoos, all sorts. So you could just be yourself in whatever, whatever, whatever profession you're in, you could just be yourself. That's really good because I don't think we should judge people, right? And you should be able to have self-expression no matter what. Um, that's really good. Hmm. Let's see, that's forward. Forward thinking. Because who cares? You know, if you want to go in pajamas to work, sure, why not? <laughs> why so not? another cool thing I learned or discovered or noticed here in Finland 
has been just like any kind of bureaucratic process. Anything you need to do, you can basically do 80% of anything online. I got my apartment online. We never had to meet anybody like from the agency. They just said, oh, this house is available. Go see it. We went to see it without anybody. And then we just said online, yes, we wanted. We paid money into an account. And then we went to pick up the keys at some like pickup point. Easy. And like, so Again, the next there's a running theme. Again, there's a running theme. She said no bureaucracy. I can't say bureaucracy bureaucracy <laughs> there's no bullshit basically there's no there's no nonsense like things are simple straightforward and to the point things like to be straightforward and to the point and they like to get from a to b very easily and i like that i don't like nonsense and you're not a nonsense people the next one is recycling recycling um i'm guessing most people that watch YouTube probably know about the existence of recycling and maybe have attempted at some point in their life to recycle to things. Recycle. But here, oh my God, it is next level. I have upped my recycling game so much. Like, you know, you've got the cardboard, you've got the tin cans, and then you've also got like the plastic bottles, which is separate from the bottles. And then you've got the bio and then, you know, the burnable kind of waste. Um, there's so many different kind of categories and I just, it makes me feel so much better about what I'm consuming. I don't know, and it's mm. very, very easy to recycle here. It's like... That's what it is. It's all about the ease of being able to do something. I don't think in England they make it that easy. Like you, you people do recycle, but there are a lot of places, like if you lived in like a, a condo building or a flat, a block of flats, you'd have maybe industrial sized bins and you'd have like a massive like industrial bin, but then you wouldn't really have any recycling. Whereas um, in houses, if it is in like a residential area with houses, you may, you do have bins. You have a green bin for like garden waste, black bin uh, for wet waste. And then you have a black bin, I want to say for, for like plastics and stuff. I don't know, and that's the problem. Like, they don't make it simple in um, the UK to, like, know where to put your recycling. So this next one, number seven, is... I know, it's, it's just a tiny little thing, but I find it so weird. Here in Finland, people drink so much milk. Milk? Like, okay, first of all, for me, personally, <laughs> I don't know, maybe like this is an American thing, but I didn't see it in Spain either. It was kind of weird. Um, people, like usually, especially grown-ups, don't drink milk like a glass of milk. Maybe I've seen people like drinking milk in the morning, perhaps once in a blue moon. But they'll drink milk here at lunch and dinner with their meal instead of it's water. Okay. or juice or tea like so milk is something that you guys love you just like to have a glass of milk with your meal isn't it? i mean yeah i get it i i milk i like milk um there was a time when i thought i was a little bit lactose intolerant and i thought milk used to upset my stomach but then i stopped drinking milk and when i started drinking milk again and i think i'm okay but um yeah there's nothing wrong with liking milk do you like milk let me know in the comment section below milk straight up cow's milk and it's super weird so number eight <laughs> and this one is more like realizing the level of my ignorance so panama just to paint a picture is always 30 between 30 and 32 degrees celsius and very high humidity the sun rises at six the sun goes out around 6 30 every mm. single day you know it's it's a very stable weather and it's very warm hot it's not warm it's hot um so for me a hoodie was already kind of like a jacket i would put it in the category of a jacket but when i came here after going through winter and autumn <laughs> and spring and summer i have come to like come to know that there are so many different kinds of jackets yeah. and 
for so many different types of purposes and types of weather and you know that's something that i never even thought about i thought like oh, okay if it's winter you just throw on like a big jacket and that's it uh, no no and like I've, I've had to get like windproof jacket waterproof jacket winter jacket super winter jacket you know like if you have like wet snow winter jacket is different from the dry snow winter jacket because you know the knees are different and if you're biking your jacket needs to be different than if you're just walking and going by bus or whatever um yeah I could, yeah <laughs> you want to say something really really fast it's true like you need well and from a country that is a little bit cold like england is a little bit cold and we have different jackets i have a duffel jacket which is like i love my duffel jacket yeah i have that i have my bomber jacket i have my rain coat jacket i have a jacket jacket <laughs> with no hood um what else did i have yeah you have a lot of you have a lot of coats and jackets in england like i have about about four or five coats four or five coats and jackets whereas if you're from a hot country like you probably just need one hoodie and that's it and i had like i had loads of hoodies but i had loads of jackets as well and sometimes you wear the hoodie underneath the jacket if it's cold i guess that's the difference between coming from like a colder country uh coming from a hotter country um <laughs> okay so the next one uh this is almost the last one second to last is Ooh, price of water water is hella expensive here so you don't really need to buy water because the tap water is completely safe and it tastes wonderful but if you're out and about and you don't have access to a tap then you have to buy a bottle of water and it's about the same price as the soda which i didn't understand but mm. that was pretty shocking <laughs> at least like when i walked in through the airport and I went to the first shop, like the closest shop to the house for the first time just to buy a few things and I was thirsty and I'm like, I want to buy a bottle of water. I'm like, what? What? It was almost the same price as the airport, <laughs> which was already kind of expensive because it was like three euros for a bottle of water, but then the supermarket has it at two and I'm like, what? Why? Expensive like, you water. know, that actually kind of forces you to always think about like carrying your own water anyway. So, you know, yeah, get a water bottle, fill it up before you leave the house, and then you don't have to ever find water, pay for water. Well, Finland's expensive, isn't it? Like, this is what we've heard. And if you don't live in Finland or if you're from another country, um, it's even more expensive. But I guess if you live in Finland and you earn money in Finland, it doesn't seem so expensive. You know, that also helps. So last but not least, this one was a pretty big shock for me and it's that nobody lives with their parents. I mean like, it is so easy to become independent from your parents here, it's ridiculous. Like people go to college and they'll already get their own student apartment or whatever, like since they're yeah. 18 or 19. Yeah. What do they do in America? This is confusing to me because I'm like, yeah, when I, as soon as I could leave home, I left home. I left home to go to university at 18, 19. And I never went back because I was independent and free. So I don't understand. Maybe in America they stay with family longer. Back in Panama and oh, Panama. in a lot of countries in Central America. And I think now in the US, it's becoming more and more frequent. Uh, due to the prices of rent and housing and stuff like that that you just stay with your parents for as long as you can like as long as it's physically possible of course when i was a teenager i used to say oh yeah when i'm 18 i'm gonna go and i'm gonna have my own apartment i'm gonna be independent independent woman you know power me boo, 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 do whatever i want mm -mm. so that's like a very big difference i think um I'm sorry, I, as soon as I could leave home, I wanted to go, I wanted to leave home. Not that my, my parents are lovely, I love them, I love my little brother, but as soon as I could, I was out of there. I wanted my independence, I wanted to be my own person. I just think nowadays, maybe kids are a bit too sheltered and worried. Well, kids in England and maybe in America. Um, and don't want to go out into the world and kind of like be independent. But me, huh, I wanted to go as soon as possible. I Parker, was out of there. It's him and he <laughs> has five other siblings of which one lives with his parents and everybody else is out. So, yeah. you know. Okay, I think that's all. Those were 10 
different things that shocked or surprised me in the last few months that I've been living here. I think out of all of those, the only one that kind of surprised me was the milk. <laughs> the milk, I was like, oh, okay, not a bad thing. Like, but is it true? Do you guys really drink milk with every single meal? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I will see you very soon.